everybody. Welcome back once again. Another edition of Inside the Headset as we roll over to Stewart's Creek. And uh, that's where we're going to be Friday night. And I've got on the phone with me the head coach of the Red Hawks, Ben Cottle. How you doing tonight, coach? Doing great, Stork. How are you? I'm doing well and uh, always enjoy you. Uh, we were over at your place before the break and uh, had an opportunity to see you go against McGavick and uh, good time. Yeah, Stork, first off, really appreciate you, uh, you know, coming out and uh, also giving our, uh, some of our media uh, students the opportunity to join you. I know that that definitely meant a lot. Uh, to Henry Frazier, who was able to call the game uh, with you. And just, you know, uh, uh, Chris Bissinger leads our uh, media uh, class and just does a phenomenal job. And, uh, you know, more than anything, Stork, I know I've told you this before, but, you know, so many of our fans and and community and even families of players aren't able to come to the game due to these uh, restrictions that we're under. And the work that you do allows people uh, both near and far uh, the ability to watch the game and tune in and just really appreciate that. Well, I tell you what, it's just a great bunch of people over there at the creek. Uh, you, you guys uh, uh, do a really good job with the Friday night, um, you, you know, and uh, you, you try to stay in full band. The band comes out, and uh, Coach Kevin Creasy was just commenting a while ago one of the best games he feels like he's had all year was against Stewart's Creek. And, uh, he, you know, and, and that says a lot about our community and everything. And, he, I mean, he said it point blank, I want to play them again because that's a good atmosphere, and that's the atmosphere I want my kids involved in on a Friday night. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think, uh, you know, as recently as as this past Monday, we actually uh, played Oakland and JV, and that was a game that, you know, several around the county, uh, I think, uh, ended up not playing JV that night, but we were able to get that game in, and uh, definitely glad that we did. And uh, certainly I think, you know, from what I hear, you know, that there could be some region reshuffling you know, on the horizon, and obviously we'll see what that looks like. But, you know, we're certainly focused on what's ahead of us right now. But uh, um, I think you're exactly right. You know, the the home environment that we're able to uh, produce on a week-by-week basis, you know, like you said, the band leads us out every week. And, you know, we've got a huge band, uh, one of the biggest, I think, around. They host band competitions every year. Uh, Mr. Chester does a great job with them. And, Definitely excited to uh, be able to play at home again this week. And from what I hear, we're going to be joined by you again. Yeah, Stork Vision is going to slide on down. we got my brother coming in. Judy the Beauty will be with us, and uh, the whole team will be down there. And uh, we're bringing Fiorella, so it'll be a good time. And we want uh, we want Henry and Nathan to swing by. I'm sure uh, Judy the Beauty will let Nathan operate the camera a little bit. She'll coach him a little bit. Boy, he likes to hot cut plays. Now, I'll tell you that, if he's ever cut for you, he doesn't give you much tape on that back end. I mean, it's hot. I mean, there's not a lot. But, but did an excellent job. I got to tell you, Coach, he clipped uh, about 145 plays. And I only told him one time, you know, I need those cut, every one of them, so that when I open it up, all of them are in a row. He never missed one, Coach. He hit every one of them, and he's a good videographer. I loved him. That definitely doesn't surprise me. You know, uh, uh, Coach Bissinger, he, he leads uh, – you know, kind of our team of, of filmers, uh, not only on Friday night, but throughout the week. And they do a great job of kind of cutting up our, our practice film as well. Uh, but uh, definitely, definitely excited for those guys that they were able to have some uh, some experience with you uh, that game against McGavick. Well, and we're going to be back down there and teach them a little more. And I think Mr. Bissinger is going to get me out to do a little basketball. And I'm glad Sam's coming because uh, that's the cat we need on the air for a hoop game. I mean, you want to talk about a guy that can – Really, he's five years older than me, and I'm telling you, you don't want. I mean, he. I'm 53, so that puts him. Uh, he puts him 58. I'm telling you, you still don't want no part of him. Even at 58, he'll burn you in a minute, man. He's a good, good hoop player. But let's get off that. I mean, my goodness, you got a big one coming up. You got Lebanon, and that's the reason why we're coming down to your place. You got to have this one, don't you, Coach? I tell you, you know, we uh, uh, played Lebanon last year on the road. Uh, I think both of us were after. Uh, playing that game after fall break. Uh, So we both had a bye week. You know, Lebanon's coming off a bye and also off a big win against Station Camp before that. And uh, Coach Gentry, as always, does a great job Um, and uh, definitely going to be a challenge for us. You know, Lebanon's a great team. Um, You know, got a lot of experience back. Uh, You know, and more than anything, you know, it starts with 
their running back. He's a tremendous player. As recently as today, I was, you know, talking to a few, uh, you know, college coaches and trying to promote some of our guys. And, you know, uh, one of their responses, uh, the, one of these college coaches just said, man, we really like the running back that y'all are playing this week. And, and, uh, number six for 11 and Mr. Shannon's a great player, uh, played well against us last year. And uh, I think things definitely start with him. I think he had five or six touchdowns against station camp. Um, and uh, they do a great job on offense and uh, really, really play really, really hard on defense and, and, and a really, uh, you know, uh, do a good job on that side of the ball as well. Made the playoffs last year, and like you said, going to be a big game for us and uh, uh, definitely excited about this opportunity for our team. Well, and all the other coaches even here, they said, you know, got a lot of respect for Coach Chuck Gentry. You know, he's really he's really flipped that program around. You know, we go back a little bit, and maybe you can remember, but, you know, um, uh, I think, uh, you know, when Phillip and I, we, we, we used to take the Bulldogs over there in 04, 05, 06, 07 when Sonny was around. Uh, Lebanon was pretty daggone good. You didn't want to go over there and uh, – and and beat us a couple of times. Lebanon uh, Lebanon was always something to contend with. They got good kids down that way, don't they? There's no doubt. From from what I understand, I believe uh, in in 2008 when Oakland uh, had their state run, I want to say their only loss that year was to Lebanon. Wow. Um, and uh, I'm not sure how long uh, Coach Gentry's been there. I know that he worked with Coach Maynard at at Cookville before he got there. I'm not sure uh, if he was at Lebanon before or not, but. Uh, like I said, you know, he does a great job of just just really uh, creating a tough mentality, you know, amongst his players. Um, and uh, I tell you, going up there last year, uh, they ran 70 or 80 plays on us. Um, and, uh, you know, we were able to play uh, pretty well that night too. But uh, I think we uh, escaped that game with seven or eight first downs. Um, and uh, we certainly know uh, our players and coaches – all of us know we're going to have to play better if, if we want to have success against Lebanon on uh, Friday night. Well, and you need these last three. I was just telling everybody, everybody, you just got to stay crisp here all the way out. You got Lebanon, John Overton, and then, kids, we're going to be back over at Stewart's Creek. It's not that we're making it a, a, a favoritism thing, but uh, we were, as everybody knows, we, we always have done the Battle of the Barrel. That is a TV game, but uh, – we gazed our fingers down at the matchups that were running around. We know this one's going to be a big one, but you got one in two weeks. We'll be there for that one, but uh, let's knock them out one at a time. And uh, we can't wait to be there. We'll bring all the crew, and uh, we'll see you Friday night at the Creek, Coach. Stork, I'm really excited to have you again. And, and like you said, you know, we're in the middle of a, of a nine-game stretch here with, with our bye being the second week of the season. And, We've certainly been taking it one game at a time, just trying to get a little bit better each week. And, uh, uh, you know, we've gotten a little bit better this week, I think, hopefully. And, and uh, you know, we're able to bring up 12 or 13 freshmen after their season finished yesterday. So, you know, I was excited to do that and get them a little bit of work here at the end of the year. And uh, definitely excited to uh, see you again on Friday night at Creek. Well, I tell you what, uh, you, you, you beat Lebanon and I'll buy the, I'll buy the large uh, Cajun pepperoni Friday night. How about that? Hey, you know, I've been hearing all uh, all night and all week, I think, about, you know, apparently Sonny getting some dessert, man. At some point, I'll know I have arrived if, if you were able to buy uh, uh, Ben Caudill some dessert at some point. You, you, I mean, are you saying you want to go down to Ruby's with me and have some dessert? Is that what you want to do, Ben? You want to you ride down to Ruby's sometime, down to Jeff Ruby's and have some dessert? Hey, if that's what you have in mind, I'll certainly do it. But if it's a Cajun pepperoni pizza, I'll take that as well. Well, you know, it's the best one in town. It's either that or the cheese pizza, but they're both pretty daggone good, aren't they? <laughs> There's no doubt. There's no doubt. If that's uh, if that's what you have in mind, I'd definitely be up for it and uh, definitely just excited about, you know, the week we, uh, we've we had and also the opportunity to host a really good Lebanon football team on Friday night. Uh Definitely a lot to be excited about. I'll see you Friday, Coach, and we're looking forward to coming over to the creek. Sounds good, Stork. We'll see you on Friday. All righty, see you, bye.